the World Cup comes every four years with joy, passion, and heartbreak. You have giants like Brazil or Argentina. But nah, this year is different. The U.S. national team, from Howard to Dempsey to Bradley and many more. With every minute going by, from the start of the game to the final whistle, we will fight with our all. We will fight with every fan in our heart and in our minds. We will fight for the nation known as the United States. You cannot stop us. We will be there in the World Cup to create upsets because... I have been chosen to play the FIFA World Cup with the United States. Our group is pretty tough. We have Belgium and Uruguay. I don't think Sweden will really get out of the group because of the fact that um, they don't really have the main man Ibrahimovic anymore. And so pretty much I think the, the top spots will go from between Belgium, Uruguay and maybe us fighting up there. Hopefully we can get out of the group. So our first match is versus Belgium, one of the best teams in the world, pretty much a European giant. But there's one thing in my mind. Will the pressure of being the main man for the United States get to me? Will it make me choke? Only time will tell. Towards the beginning of the game, Bradley plays a 1-2, take the shot! But Tobai Courtois is there to make the save, the Chelsea man. What a shot from Bradley. If it had enough curve, it probably would have went in. What a shot from him, but what a save from Belgium's keeper, Tobai Courtois. Then a chance for me, taking the shot! But again, not able to get enough curl on it. Then a 1-2 here, me versus Zard is I'm pretty much through. But... The flag is up and it is called for offsides. What a chance that could have been with the 1-2. Zarda is not able to pass it quick enough and it was so close to being a goal. Then right here, a chance for Belgium with Axel Witzel taking the shot. And nothing really created out of that. A decent effort for them, but like I said, nothing was really created as our defender pretty much blocked it. Then a corner here from Belgium. De Bruyne to whip it in and Belgium get ahead on it but we were good enough to clear it out then again a chance one more chance for Belgium with beautiful plays De Bruyne up to Lukaku but we were able to deal with that then again a chance here for me trying to do a little bit of skill coming in but it was again too much skill 
and Courtois is there to make the save. And we go into halftime, nil-nil. United States not able to score a goal, neither Belgium. We aren't doing too bad in our first World Cup game, but like I said, Belgium haven't scored, but they could keep scoring if we let them go. Then a chance here, me getting a breakaway against Belgium, but they're right back. Munier, I think is his name, Thomas Munier, picks up a yellow card after taking a pretty bad tackle onto me. What a bad tackle that was too. Look at this. That could have ended our World Cup if it was any harder. We could have came out with an injury. But it looks like I'm going to be taking the free kicks here for the United States. Hopefully I can take a shot and score this. But Lukaku there just able to block it off. Then a chance here. Me burning all my pace. Taking advantage that Belgium's defenders were sleeping. I whipped the ball into Bobby Wood. And Bobby Wood scores. Oh man, my strike partner. What a goal from him. What a run from me. What an assist from me. And what a goal from Bobby Wood. Putting us 1-0 up here versus Belgium. To bite Courtois wasn't able to make the save. And the Belgium defense was caught sleeping as I picked up the ball from the halfway line and I saw they were through oh and here we go another chance here me trying to make something out of it but Vincent company there fouls me with a horrible tackle just like the one from Munier and he also picks up a yellow card these Belgian defenders need to know when to stop tackling because if they keep doing this, they will eventually pick up a red card. What a bad tackle. I go flying. And Vincent Company knows he made a mistake. Then a corner whipped in. Me trying to get it on the header. But nothing really made out of that. Courtois saves it. And well, we win our first World Cup game here in the World Cup 2018. What a game. Not really much came out of it. But we do pick up the win with a 1-0 win. To be honest, a 1-0 win versus a European giant in Belgium is a very great feat, to be honest. One of my first World Cups and getting an assist in the first game, not too bad. Wasn't able to pick up the goal, but a 1-0 scoreline is not bad. Only picking up a 7.5, not the greatest, but like I said, I did get the crucial assist to get that goal to Bobby Wood. But after the game, I decided to walk around this little park over here in Russia just to kind of like clear my mind and just take a walk because I'm trying to focus on football. But at the same time, if I over focus, I might overthink things. So just walking around here in a peaceful little park, just trying to think of ways on how I can help the team out. But at the same time, I don't really want to get distracted because I want to focus on the World Cup trying to take us over to the final. But the next game we are playing is versus Sweden. Our lips, they tasted like those cigarettes Staring at the moon, we'd go to bed In my arms, you're safe and sound Without a threat, and I can't wait to see What happens next? How far can we get if we sail? A little bit high, a little bit low How far can we get if we sail? A little bit high, a little bit low We're still a little bit young, but I'm all in We're still a little bit dumb, but I'm all in on into this game Giasi Zardes gets a ball played up to him but he was in a offside position unlucky for him 
that could have been a great breakaway for the U.S. national team, but a chance nonetheless. Then here, me trying to get a little bit of skill on this guy, but the Swedish defender was able to take it out for a corner. And now off of that corner, we try to whip the ball in, but nothing really happened from that corner. Then again, a chance here, Sweden with the freaky trying to whip it in, but United States was there to clear it out. Then a beautiful play here. Me to Zardes. Now to Bradley. Back to me. And I'm through. Now, after our first World Cup goal of our career, we go into halftime leading 1-0 versus Sweden. A great scoreline right now. Just going into halftime, right on the brink, I score that crucial goal. And my first goal of my World Cup in my career. And what a goal it was to slotting it past the Swedish keeper. But going into the second half, DeAndre Yedlin pulls off a bad tackle luckily it was only a yellow card but I have to talk with him after the game to try and tell him to settle down a little bit because if he keeps making tackles like that who knows one time he might either get a second yellow card or pick up a red and we cannot afford to lose our best right back then a chance here for us off the corner with the header but again sweet and clear then here I'm pretty much through I try to see if I can take another shot and score but the Swedish keeper again with another save. And we pick up another three points in this World Cup. What a game we had. And what a tournament we could be in for if we keep on picking up these wins. I think we are top of the table with six points. Oh my. Wow. I did not think that this group would be so easy. Sweden was probably the easiest team we could have gone against. And oh man. Belgium was a difficult team but we did manage to pick up the win there and we go into this world cup with just six points in our first few games what a tournament we could be having after that game i decided to come and walk around russia around the streets trying to stay a little bit secluded from the media trying not to get a lot of attention because i don't want to be dealing with a bunch of drama about transfers and all this stuff i just want to focus on my world cup and I just want to be able to go outside like a normal person. I don't want to be able to have to worry about all this stuff. I don't want all the stress.